Lack of safe drinking water is an acute crisis in Bangladesh. Each year over 7,000 children under 5 years die from poor water and sanitation, while in urban slums the situation is critical. This is a slum of Dhaka city. This lady is taking water from a tube well. However, this tube well does not draw water from ground. This is connected to the water supply lines. Let's see what they are drinking actually. You can see the water line here is just passing beside the sewerage and here where it is almost merged in contaminated water. In another slum, this man is drinking tap water. Look from where the lines are coming from. Research has shown that the children in households that drink treated water experience less frequent diarrhea, demonstrating the health benefits of treating contaminated water. However, despite free treatment products and messages being provided in low-income, urban communities, a study found there was less than 30% uptake of these methods. But motivating these people to use water treatment remains a great challenge for the public health professionals. Some scientists from the Center for Communicable Diseases has come up with an innovation. Let's see what it is. Hello, my name is Kanis Jangat from Center for Communicable Disease ICDTRB. You have just seen the water and sanitation situation of the urban slum from Bangladesh. So we perceived that it is very important to motivate the behavior of the household members uh, for water treatment. Our team has came up with an innovative idea of behavior change communication and we used disgust and shame messages to encourage the water treatment behavior of the household members uh, from the uh, low-income community of urban Dhaka. Let's see what we have done in the study. This is a demonstration on how feces enter the water supply of communities. Here you can see a disgust box. The box is just a plastic container with a hole for a metallic pipe which represents the water supply. The box is filled with mud representing the dirt with the upper pipe exposed and showing that it has some holes in it. Now we pour water into the pipe and clean water comes out. So this looks clear. Then we pour tea onto the top of the pipe and then put more water into the pipe. Now have a look. The water is dirty this time. We ask the audience to tell us why and they can always tell us that it's because there are holes on the top of the pipe. The tea is leaking through the dirt and making the water appear dirty. Now we put fake fishes on the top of the pipe. We then ask them to imagine that it rains and pour some water on top of the box. Then we simulate water going through the pipe, which comes out looking clean and pure, and pour it into the glass. We offer it around to everyone. Would you like to drink it? Would you like to drink it? Everyone says no. Why? The audience explains the water has mixed with feces and whilst it looks clean, it really is dirty with the rainwater mixing with feces and entering the water supply through the holes in the pipe. No one wants to drink it. These messages were delivered in communities in a variety of ways including flip charts, demonstrations, role plays and storytelling. From our qualitative assessment in the field, we found that we have received an extremely good response by participants and have concluded that this method is particularly effective in demonstrating how the appearance of water can be deceiving. Even clean looking water could be contaminated with dirt, bacteria and even feces. We hope that we can continue to use the Sionic method in future interventions to motivate the use of water treatment in urban low-income households in order to improve their health and well-being.